Okay, bro, so let me tell you a method I learned recently, even yesterday, on how to become more productive and be in a better mood as you do your work. So let me tell you a story, right? So that I can teach you that for, for this. It will be interesting. So yesterday, it was morning and I was thinking, okay, I done the, I, I made the video on the high frequency schedule, but I was thinking, okay, well, I'm not really right now at a high frequency in the morning. I mean, I, and I, and I was thinking, yeah, I know that the, the workout will bring me into way higher frequency, a way better mood. And, uh, therefore I can work no without distractions, no problem. But thing is until the workout, until I hit the workout, it's like 11 AM in my schedule. Right? So until there, I got to just do work, just working on the videos or making the courses better, having coaching calls perhaps or something. But then I thought, okay, well, if this happens every morning, well, I don't want to live like this, you know? I mean, think about it. I mean, yeah, work, but on, on the stuff that is important, sure. But if I'm sad all the time it, uh, until I hit this workout, well, is it even worth it? Then I thought, well, wait a bit. Why, why don't I just try to simply do the workout before that? But then I was thinking I have all these beliefs like oh but but what about the benefit of intermittent fasting you know of sharp mind what if you after you eat after the workout let's say you have a brain fog and stuff like that and you cannot work or something turns out it was not real it was not really that that it's not really that bad you know because i'm filming this video right now and i feel awesome now thing is after that i, I said to myself well that might happen that might happen i don't know does god want me to do this maybe maybe not but then i thought wait a bit these are just some beliefs I got along the way, as I learned. And so I thought, okay, well, might as well just go and try and then see what happens. And so I try it and it massively boosts up my mood. Now, fair enough, after that, something happens uh, that uh, got it a bit lower. I fix it, but that's, don't worry about that. That's just some, something else. But uh, today I did my workout in the morning after I read God's word in the Bible. I, I had my workout, showered, ate, and I feel so, so much better through and after that. And even right now, I feel so, so much better. And I don't seem to have brain fog. I don't seem to have any of that. I think it depends also on the time that you eat and and uh, certain foods perhaps that, that have cert certain, certain carbohydrates that might make you feel a bit, you know, have a bit of brain fog, sleepy and all that kind of feeling. But right now to be honest i feel great i feel awesome and i know so many more guys that just focus on this before they do their work on their business on their youtube channel and so on think about it wes watson he does he wakes up like 2 45 goes to the gym before he works so that he's in the optimal state for his people to to help his people for the coaching calls for this youtube channel and so on the work that he does and the connections that are in the meetings relationships he has right and so Luke Belmar, for example, and all the, these other guys, they they change and improve their internal state in the morning before they go and do their work, right? And so think about it. If they do all that, well, why don't we? And so I thought, okay, well, I might as well go try it. And so it turned out to be amazing. And guess what? This brings me in a way, way better state. And you might say, oh, but Sebastian, how does this help with productivity and discipline and all this? Look, if you're in a way po more positive state, obviously you'll be more, way more likely to work. If you constantly every day want to work, but constantly feel sad at that time, your brain will just tell you, well, what's, what's the point? We might as well just, you want to live a sad life, bro? What are you doing? And it will make you try to go do some other things like bad habits or wasting your time or, or doing something in the pursuit of trying to become happier or feel better or something. The thing is, many of those things won't make you happy, will just make you feel regret and yeah, they're bad habits and stuff like that, or just stuff that is neutral, but that wastes your time. So the thing is, you gotta have something that raises your frequency massively. Think about it. When you work out, your serotonin levels, your endorphins in your body increase massively. And those are your homo hormones for happiness. And think about it. These last for like hours and hours even after you work out. Think about it. You can use that as a benefit, as a boost, to literally be in a positive, great state to work without distractions, without anything. Right now I ate, I'm not irritated by this thought of, oh, of hunger or something. 
but either way I don't have it in the morning that much but you get the point or other distractions or just con constantly trying to feel better I mean I tried to work for example before this time before this experiment and uh, I was just in a kind of negative bored kind of uh, kind of mood and it was not really that good for my productivity either but then when I improve this well guess what I feel way better right now I don't seem to have any brain fog, I don't seem to have any of this or, or that, and it feels great. Now, if you have brain fog or whatever, if you, you, there might be other causes of why you are not productive. Maybe you stay in your bed too much, and guess what? Your brain associates that with sleep, so it will make you sleepy. Or you just do things the wrong way, like, the wrong order. I mean, go first and hopefully got, read God's word from the Bible if you want to, that's awesome. But basically, before you work, before you do this and that, go and have your workout. And you might say, oh, but Sebastian, but what about rest days? Ah, oh, well, think about it. You can do push pull legs and in the, basically six times per week. And then I have a day of just running and uh, a smaller day of, of a run in the week as well, in the working week. And so the thing is, I have basically every day this exercise. And guess what that does for me? puts me in, the, in a way higher frequency state and what do you do also but Sebastian I don't have time for that you know in the morning well guess what you do bro I mean you slip split the workout into two or at least a small part in the morning at least 15 20 30 minutes to put you in a way way higher frequency state when you do that guess what happens you will feel way exponentially better and you'll be way more way more productive and I thought, okay, what about school? What about this and that? Will I have time for this? Yeah, bro, just wake up a bit earlier. Go to bed a bit earlier. It doesn't need to be, oh, we'll go to sleep at 9 and wake up at 5. Maybe go to sleep at 9.30 and wake up at 5.30 or something like this. But just to, to make sure you have that time. You know, if you, if you really want to just focus on the gym, obviously I have weights home, so it's somewhat better for me. But you can at least do a bit of a slightly small workout in the morning to feel exponentially better when you do that well obviously you'll have time for all this and you'll feel way better and you'll be way way more productive when you do that obviously you'll complete a lot more work and it's beautiful i mean literally imagine you can enjoy your day so much better like this and then later in the day when you feel if you feel kind of worse sorry for that it was a cow i'm here in the countryside beautiful place by the way look at this and thing is thing is later in the day because you don't eat for so many hours after that you have the benefit of intermittent fasting after that and guess what you feel exponentially better throughout the day being in a fasted state after that which is so so good that coupled with being in nature like I was yesterday and then working out oh boy I felt so good like I was finally happy throughout the day that was the high frequency schedule. I was like, wow, I, I got it up to a new, whole new level. Of course, all glory to God. Amen. He helped me with this. Absolutely amazing. That's what you do. So, so helpful. So go and try this today. Make your schedule. Go put some things in place. Think about how you're, you're going to do this. And you just go execute. Now, this might be a slightly more short video today, but still super helpful I just learned this yesterday and uh, or at least got my attention better on it yesterday let's say and I implemented it and it, it has amazing results I mean I, I I was thinking why do all these people seem somewhat happier than me or some people but I'm on self-development I should be you know all these good habits all this and that but why do I feel sad and stuff but then I just implement this and I feel so exponentially better that that was the key and so uh, there you go and it works each and every single time works each and every single time it's absolutely beautiful absolutely phenomenal that's what you do and also time in time outside and other high frequency activities will help you a lot i also after this and after a bunch of more hours of work of a bit of meditate a bit of meditation learning for a couple hours from books from videos whatever i draw I play guitar, stuff like this, high frequency activities, absolutely amazing, super fun to do, and productive, healthy, in real life, not video games or whatever alternative reality or bad habit, but actually, actually real life, good healthy stuff, fun stuff, 
that is good for you. It's good for you. It brings yourself in a way higher frequency state. You're able to be way more productive and work without distractions because you already feel good. You don't need to seek that somewhat happiness feeling from those bad habits that will always lead to regret, by the way. So we all know this. Also, if you're interested, I have free coaching calls for some time. If you want to, first link in the description. And then when you book a call with me, to pres for me to present my, the blueprint in, that is even more in depth, you'll have a link in uh, on Gmail. And uh, yeah, just click, make sure you click on that, put an alarm for the time so that you're a member of the call. And uh, yeah, here we go. Also, watch more videos on the channel if you're interested in this. St watch more of my stuff on Instagram that I put daily. And uh, yeah, remember we're limitless because we never peak if we so choose to. And I'll see you, hopefully, in the next one. Peace.